and welcome to Late Night Long Plays. Um, I am Joshua Caleb. I am Tom Hall. I am Clint Basinger. And this is part two of our Donkey Kong Country long play. Um, hopefully with less lag and more awesome. <laughs> now with 100% less lag. Oh, I would settle for even 50%. It was getting kind of weird there at the end of the last one, so. Yeah. I missed the first part. You'll have to go back and add me in. <laughs> Later on, just random sound clips. There you go. You, you've been on a couple podcasts, so I, there's probably some <laughs> ge generic me, stuff you could say. Me saying something about Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yes. It can just be like the, one of those random like racing game announcers. Just every so often, you're like, "Oh, right, yeah, <laughs> checkpoint." We can yeah. just pull in clips from uh, from NBA Jam. Yeah, Boom, there you shaka go. Laka. <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> He's heating up. He's eating bananas. <laughs> He's in a oh. barrel. He's getting eaten. <laughs> All right. That'd actually be really weird to have. Um, an announcer in Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> that would be surreal, man. Somebody should totally just hack the ROM and do that. That would be great. I know. I wish I knew how to hack ROMs because I would go in and take um, the, all the like Zelda or even Mega Man games and patch in all of these awesome remixes for the actual music. Yeah, the have. most I've ever accomplished is just simple hex editing, you know, like give myself some extra lives at starting off, and yeah, it's, that's about it. Well, some of that stuff is, what do they write that stuff in? Like the NES ROMs? A lot of it you can just edit in like a, there's a couple little editors out there that are basically like a hex editor, but that's, I'm sure the rest of it's much more advanced. I guess it's some sort of assembly. Yeah, that's why I thought it was. You had to have some special assembler and compiler and everything that was kind of complicated. Yeah, some 6502 thing from what I remember. But then I never got very far into basic programming, so. Yeah, it's no. above my pay scale. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going much smoother without <laughs> lag. I'll say. <laughs> that looked like five times last time, so. Uh, you know, he really. Go. He could have avoided a lot of these problems with a simple can of off. <laughs> yeah, that would help. Though the rodents would be a little harder. Uh, yes. I didn't want that anyway. Cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> but we're still trying to figure out why a bunch of reptiles want a bunch of bananas in the first place. Because they're delicious. <laughs> Yeah, but why but would they're we... reptiles. Maybe that's just what they want you to think. <laughs> <laughs> and they're... they're apes in reptile clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe that's the super secret ending at the end of um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. <laughs> Maybe. I never even got halfway through it, so. It's the alternate oh, ending. King K. Rule is actually a giant gorilla. <laughs> Was actually Cranky Kong the whole time. Oh, that would, that would be awesome. <laughs> Supposedly the plot on Donkey Kong Land goes something like that. Or at least one Cranky of the, Kong? I thought one, one, of the, play. one of the Donkey Kong Lands, if it was the second one or something, where Cranky Kong had something to do with why you were going out on an adventure because you had, like, just completed the Donkey Kong Country or whatever. Well, here we go. There's wonderful timing, yes. Some of them have safety barrels, fortunately. Yes. Except for these. <laughs> oh. oh. That was luck. No, I awesome totally luck. planned that. Oh, <laughs> and then I completely overshoot the tire. I was just gonna compliment you on your timing too. <laughs> yeah, then Ruined I overshoot it. it. Ruined it. See, your mental compliment um, jinxed it. <laughs> There's a 
bonus thing. Yeah, there's there. some bonus there with that banana. I, I think you have to shoot yourself into it. Yeah. Here we go. Supposed to, but didn't I? It's too bad now. <laughs> you know, one thing interesting I noticed about when I'm listening to the soundtrack for this game, the treetop town track is only like 30 seconds long or something. <laughs> Which I thought was weird because it always seemed longer to me. It's a good loop. Yeah, it's a very good loop. <laughs> yeah, see that point right there. I always go and like you know go back to the other world, save my game, and then come back. Oh yeah, and, and stock up on there. lives. Yeah. <clears throat> go back to that first level and get like four lives. <laughs> yeah, a Funky Kong or a Candy Kong is always like that oasis in the middle of the desert. That it is. <laughs> You're not going to get the K? Come on, man. <laughs> That's a tricky K. I don't even know how you get that one, actually. That... <laughs> <laughs> no risk, no reward. Oh, I like that. There you go. All right. The cartwheel hover. Her. Always make you proud. <laughs> That's what I love about um, Diddy Kong. Monkey physics, man. They're different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I lost Diddy to get that barrel, and that barrel was Diddy. <laughs> what would it have been had you not lost it? Um, empty. We'll never know. It's like Schrodinger's Diddy. <laughs> we don't know what it is. <laughs> Might be nothing. Maybe it was a new car. You don't even know. Could be. Was there a bonus level in that? I can't remember. Uh, There's one yeah. of these you have to like watch the bottom really close because you can just see the tip of a barrel. I remember I had this uh, the TV, you know, the CRT, and it zoomed in just a little bit around the edges. So there was a lot of those secrets I didn't even know were there oh. until I started playing it on a TV without as much overscan. Oh wow! <laughs> it was such a pain. I'm like, why well, there are all these secrets and they're right on the edge of the screen. I couldn't see them. So yeah. Whatever. That's what I get for having like cheap symphonic brand TVs or something. Got a Sony Trinitron after that. It was like, yeah, I'm rocking now. I can see secrets. <laughs> well, they're not secrets if you tell everyone about them. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Boom. Sweet. Ah, it's a rhino token. I don't want that. And if I get three of them, okay, it is in this one, so I'm gonna get this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I knew I knew which one it was, but I didn't want it. <laughs> oh. Right. I don't know. He looked pretty depressed, though. <laughs> this. I'm pretty depressed. Huh? I like the rhino ones, man. Yeah, but Just I didn't want to start my the level all over again. Well, that is true. We'll just have to pick up the pieces and move on with our lives. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> no promises. There's another secret in here somewhere. Here we go. You just never came barrel. up with that idea of platformers. Just jump on the enemy's head. <laughs> Yeah, then, you know, Mario. Well, what was the first one? Yeah, Mario was the first well, one. Well, see, the original Mario Brothers, you couldn't actually jump on the guy's heads. You had to jump yeah, underneath them and flip them. It was Super Mario. It, I think it was one of the first ones. It was because they couldn't render punching. Uh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I 
and with Mario, his fists were so tiny anyway, it would be impossible to actually punch anything. And on my TV, I couldn't even tell. Like, I literally for years just thought he jumped and hit everything with his head. Like, it wasn't until years later I found out he jumped with a fist in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he dies? <laughs> yeah. Mind blown. Absolutely. I always thought, like, what is his hat made out of? That's magical, but nope. He's just got really strong plumber fists. I blame it on his mustache. <laughs> if you want another mind-blowing revelation, um, in the manual for Super Mario Brothers, it says that um, Bowser cursed all of the inhabitants of the Mushroom Kingdom and turned them into mere stones. Mm. So he's killing his own people. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's why the Mushroom Kingdom is completely devoid of life, is because Mario murdered them all. <laughs> what? Okay. That's uh, right. delightfully awful. <laughs> he must have had a plan to, I guess, repopulate the Mushroom Kingdom with the princess. <laughs> yeah, but they yeah, never it's, do. It's the kidnapping. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. There's Can never get... a son of Mario. <laughs> Come here for a long play, get some conspiracy theory. Very nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you had baby Mario, right? But that was actually baby Mario. That was actually not, Mario. Yes. You know? That, that was Mario, Mario in the past. Uh, well, maybe that's what they're working towards with the Wii U. <laughs> be the first release, Son of the Plumber. Son of a Plumber. That should be the t subtitle, I, I swear. <laughs> that would sell so much. I would buy it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see they announced uh, new Super Mario Brothers Wii 2 or whatever? No, it's yeah. Super Today, Mario Brothers 2. Yesterday. For uh, 3DS, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the sequel to new Super Mario Brothers, whatever that was in the DS, and then they Which later was awesome. the Wii. Yeah, and then I. Yeah, look, I saw a nice look of him in a raccoon suit. Yes. Which PETA will be just super thrilled about, I guess, like they were last time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come 20 on. years too late. But... Oh, no, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love how this level, when you start out, you know, it's sunny, but then you go a little further through and it turns to sunset. Yeah. Classic. Pretty, uh, that was amazing stuff back then. I don't know, it's still kind of impressive. Oh, it is. Uh, it's it's a nice little 16-bit sunrise set thing. Yeah, and they took it out in the Game Boy Advance remake. Did they? Yeah. Well, uh, as we found out, yeah, they took like half the things out. <laughs> half the cool ambiance in the Game Boy Advance one are, is gone. Yeah. Uh -huh. People keep messing with stuff. Leave it alone. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Ah. Yeah, you'll never run as fast as an ostrich. <laughs> yeah, this is the level that has tons of bonus areas all over the place. There was like one that you needed the ostrich to get back toward the beginning. And then there's another one further up here. And then there's like this one area that just has like three bonus rooms within a yeah, six-foot like radius or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think I needed the ostrich to fly across there, and there was another one. You know what's funny is I never had a strategy guide for this game. I never looked up anything. I just played it so freaking much and found so many of them. Oh. It's a weird thought nowadays, man. I'm so lazy now, I'm just like, forget it. I'm just gonna look up a walkthrough. Back in my day, we didn't have strategy guides. And yeah. we liked it! Yeah, I think me and my dad played this one, sort of like trading off, or he would do the hard levels or something. And we had the unofficial strategy guide for Donkey Kong Country by... I have no idea who made it, but... It was unofficial. <laughs> but even with the walkthrough, it was still surprisingly difficult. Of course. Ah. Nice 
ambience too, like through, through the crickets. Yeah. And this one has the... This theme is the one that takes like five minutes before you actually start hearing any music. They make up for it with that power 30 second loop. <laughs> Oh, cranky con. Enjoy this demo while you can. It can't last much longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four shades of gray and a two by two square. That's all we had in my day. I think Cranky is one of the only ones that actually, um, breaks the fourth wall and ref keeps referring to this as a game. <laughs> as I rock my beard swings. Waste of frames, I say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody does this anymore. No. Just that kind of humor. That's all he's there for, too, which is great. Yeah, oh, once in a while he'll give you a vague hint as to where you can find a yeah, bonus level. It's as vague as possible. But most of the time it's just to break the fourth wall and tell you that this uh, the these newfangled games aren't like they they used to be and <laughs> almost like we're doing now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. We're turning into cranky con. You realize that, right? <sighs> Shave immediately after we're done with this. <laughs> <laughs> the obligatory water level. Yeah, although the water levels in these aren't aren't too bad. They're actually kind of cool. No, it's just it's just the thought. Like the apes and monkeys should not be in the water. Like that's they don't Un live there. <laughs> and they have unlimited um, air. They, well, that's the nice part, actually. Yeah, they, they strap these magical barrels to their um, necks, and that gives them oxygen. Maybe it's all the bananas. Man, yeah. that's that's why the reptiles wanted them, because they needed to breathe underwater, and these are magical banana water breather devices. Yeah, I'll go with that. Works for me. Yeah. Did I miss On Guard? Could have swore On Guard was in here somewhere. He was, I think, yeah pretty close to the beginning of this one. Uh, I must have missed it. Oh, yeah, I remember him now. <laughs> Ooh, we got somebody else joining our long, late night long play. How you do? There, the mic's down. <laughs> there there we go. Better. That works better. Hey, Graham, how's it going? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Sorry, I was playing Crisis. <laughs> Ooh, I just got Crisis 2 for 750 Oh, no. Uh, come on. That's You're forgiven. <laughs> was that the Amazon sale? I saw it was on sale there. Yeah, I got L.A. Noir, The Saboteur... Uh, Majesty Gold, Dragon Age Collection, and Crisis 2. I like Crisis 2, but I played it on the Xbox. My PC at the time was just not running Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> totally understandable. Mm. I should have gotten on guard. Oh no! if it's natural for fish to just swim in a straight line back and forth like that. Um, I kind of think it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, yes. Fish, uh, fish do that. I went from like A to B, but not back to A continually. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know, I'm just going on fish tank uh, fish knowledge here. Maybe yeah. I just had really dumb fish. <laughs> you need yeah, a I guess thinner you tank. Would... You wouldn't keep a shark in there, likely. No, but that would be awesome. Yes, it would. 
people would come for miles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they used to have these little fish at the uh, local Pet Smart. You know, they called them some kind of shark. They were like three inches long. I guess no shark, man. <laughs> You know, getting a chicken and calling it a T-Rex. Did they at least have the decency to put shark in quotations? Uh, it, it was actually, uh, it was, the real name of it is shark something, some kind of shark. It's just tiny. It looked like a shark, sort of. You know. Well, lots had, of uh, fish look like sharks, but they're like... Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're not even... They're not it even. was pointy. <laughs> <laughs> it had teeth. Well, let me put it this way. Was it in salt water? It was in salt water, at least. <laughs> oh yeah, there's where you need that can off. Absolutely. Oh, I remember oh. this guy. Oh. <laughs> Some things you never forget. Ah, uh, yeah, this boss in particular. Yeah, he's really he's really hard until you sort of learn the trick of either using donkey to just have him land on you with a barrel, or have yeah, Diddy much, with the yeah. shield. Got him because he sped up. <laughs> Ooh, bang. Gonna, get, gonna get malaria if you're not careful. <laughs> Gorilla glaciers. Oh man. Oh, now we're getting to some fun. Yeah, I remember this one. There was lots of. Uh, oh, I fall into my death, and all of a sudden, boom! You're all the way to the other end of the map. <laughs> yeah, you fall to your death. You slip. You curse yourself, and then you realize you're somewhere else entirely. So. Yeah, I did yep. that quite a lot. This is where I, this is actually, you know, I sad, sad to say, but this is the first level I played where I actually found out there were secret barrels. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is cool. I wonder if, oh, it's in all the other levels too, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I was, I, I put it this way, I didn't think they just put it in one. <laughs> oh, right, the blue bees. Oh, that means they're cold. Uh huh. See what they did there. Oh yeah, it's getting, it's getting darker. It's gonna start snowing it soon. It was a simpler time then. Palette swap, new enemy. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, I thought they were gonna ragdoll you all the way down that hill. I know that would have been cool. <laughs> We, we believe in insult to injury. Yeah, like Firescape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we want the frog? We skipped out on the other guy. Uh, it's more what the people want. Oh. I know, they outnumbered three to one now. For the kids, you know. Yes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I well, was going to get that. Good effort. Just remember B A R R A L. <laughs> no, save states. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way I got through the mines. Of... <laughs> you mean you didn't know about that super secret barrel at the very beginning? We can skip half the level? No. Strangely enough, not. Mm. Yeah, just Where's jump. Fun in that? Just, just jump over that first barrel at the very beginning, and you'll get halfway or three quarters of the way through the level. Ah. Come on, there. I ducked. Not enough, it would seem. I always hated the spinning barrels in this one. Yeah, they I think were always it... fun. Oh. Natural reaction when you see a hornet is to jump right in its face. <laughs> Especially one that's equivalent to your body size. Yes. <laughs> Some kind of tracker jacker. <laughs> well, there, I got one extra life for the three that I lost. That's not a good ratio. 
<laughs> uh, one way trip. Uh, I was doing it See too fast. At the bottom. <laughs> Some of those, if you just if you just nail them right away, you can keep going. But some of them, you gotta wait for the barrel to actually move. again. No. <laughs> I like how we can enter through the side of the barrel. Yeah, that's... Okay... There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh boy. Oh, it's starting to snow. They sound so cute when you kill them. Yeah. Okay, now there is a <clears throat> bonus back here. He does not sound so cute. No, no, he deserves to die. Come on, straight up. <laughs> Ah. Now, I, I, you can't re-enter a bonus, a bonus barrel. No. If I remember correctly, that might have been another thing they changed in the Game Boy Advance one. I don't know. Oh, yours is the Game Boy Advance version? No, this is the Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. The far superior one. <laughs> you have all these faulty Game Boy Advance memories going on. It's confusing. I know. I play. I the <laughs> Game Boy Advance one is the most recent one that I like completely played through, so it's really screwing me up. Cause they changed a lot. Oh, it'd be like Tomb Raider, where they the anniversary came along, changed everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They made it dumber. <laughs> no, I, I think know. it's a double-edged sword for them. It's like they, you release something with a different, like a different subtitle to it. You have to change something. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now there somewhere in in those barrels. There's there's a secret shortcut. Yeah, there is. Don't ask me where it is because I I know you fall to your death, but you don't really fall to your death. <laughs> Come to think of it, there's one down here too, I think. I think there is, actually, is what oh. I was thinking. That's not yep. it. Yeah, right there. Uh, yeah, right below. Yeah, you shoot yourself straight down. Preferably avoiding the large insect. <laughs> yeah, I think both Donkey Kong and Mega Man X could have benefited from some... A uh, raid. <laughs> raid. I think well, most of the bosses in Mega Man X were all insect based. Here we go. Oh, we're getting faster. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and you lose them all. 
<laughs> oh yeah. You got ahead of yourself there. Ow. You have to time it like just before it gets to the spot you want it to be is when you actually have to fire it. Oh, that was not good. Oh, <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Maybe just a fly swatter. Yeah, a giant fly swatter. Jetpacks. That would help. Well, the Diddy Kong has jetpacks <laughs> in um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm still bitter about that, so forget I said it. <sighs> Why do I keep doing that? Oh, man. That? Half of this episode on this level. <laughs> uh, now we're approaching sad territory. Uh, You're just their breath as you get into that setup. I am. It's, like... it's hurting. To, I'm like. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This was never one of my strong levels. Ah, there we go. Yes. Now you're talking. <laughs> Skip all Getting that. somewhere. You don't need any of that. That's what we call the express lane. Mm. Bam! Okay, now this one absolutely murdered me as a kid. <laughs> Can't wait! Yeah, but I think I've gotten a little better at it now. <laughs> Back for your revenge as an adult. Yes. That's not how you spell Kong at all. <laughs> Kung. That's the way he spelled Russian. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, it... in Soviet Russia, Kong spells you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So we, we now have the, the obligatory um, Soviet Russia joke out of the way. You're welcome. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what this spells. I don't know, it's rotating oh. too fast for me. Nintendo. Sega. <laughs> that would actually be pretty awesome if it... That would be great. If you could spell Sega. Even better if it, like, took away a life. <laughs> Back there you then, go. I would not put it past Nintendo to do that. Now this is the only level with the in the sparkly gem cavern, isn't it? I don't remember there being I think, another one. I think one. there's one more later. Is there? I think so. I remember there being too much of it, <laughs> so maybe I'm just thinking there's more. Uh, when, when I when I played this one, I thought there was way too much of the level. It definitely got some interesting music to it. Oh no 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 no! Oh, come on come on! Oh boy. Hmm. This could be a problem. There was a barrel to your left. Ah, got it. Yeah. Checkpoint. 
the music here always reminded me of like some sort of newscast or something. Yeah, that's just... Yeah. <laughs> the, the, Tonight's evening news. This guy is dying a lot. <laughs> now the demand is on the increase. We'll tell you why. <laughs> yes. King K. Rule still holding the, the banana the world the world banana supply hostage. <laughs> and we see what's up in Cranky's corner. <laughs> All this and more. Right after our commercial for raid. <laughs> <laughs> would be a good news team. <laughs> yes. A retro gaming news team where all we talk about is retro um, game world news. Hey man, that might be a million dollar idea right there. Edit it out so no one else takes it. <laughs> <laughs> it just put a big long bleep. Yeah. <laughs> just put up like a some kind of screen graphic. This five minutes was dedicated to future business ideas. This next five minutes is copyrighted. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I, I'm worried that if I grab it, I'll get all three. Things, don't you? Be oh. Because I have gra I have gotten three of them so many times right at the end of a level. I grab the third one, get transported to the bonus level, and then I'm back at the checkpoint after I spent 30 minutes trying to get to the end. <laughs> but I'm scarred. Yes, he's been hurt before. <laughs> I always hated oh. climbing levels, and right there is why. I always <laughs> fall off of whatever it is I'm supposed to climb onto. Well, that's because it's designed so that when you jump, you don't exactly jump on the level. <laughs> no, and I realize that, but I just hate it. <laughs> yes, the, the this game had one, one possible fault is that you can't always tell where the edge of the platform is and where it isn't because they're so pretty. Yeah. By the way, ostrich meat is very good. <laughs> it is, actually. <laughs> I've never had the pleasure. It's like a lean beef or... It's okay. a red meat. Can I put bacon on it? Oh, yeah. Why can't you could put bacon on crap? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Bacon bananas. There's your million dollar idea. And that's why we're friends. Okay. Another secret off there, right? Yeah. To the left. I believe this this secret makes this level much easier to complete. Yep. In theory. <laughs> yes, in theory. Provided you can control this bird. False sense of security, perhaps. All right, flight. Can't those birds not actually fly, though? <laughs> that would be right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good. I think I have him cornered. Hey! You weren't supposed to run up there. And cue Benny Hill music. <laughs> Joshua chases the bird. A Brazilian steakhouse will find it. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I got two of those here. Those are good places. Mm hmm. Now, this one actually, you start out really snowy and blizzardy, but then it gets clearer. I think it actually gets darker. Isn't there a level that's like pitch black and you have all those silly bees? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was less aggravating than the mine carts, but then again, I didn't open the dead barrel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe we'll have to show you that so you can. Oh, oh man, no. I forgot about that. I forgot to do in order to play that this level with espresso you practically have to find the highest point in the game and just fly over the rest over the whole thing because <coughs> of course you can't grab onto vines when you're riding an ostrich no 
You could not support the weight of both you and Ostrich. As evident that you can only carry the ostrich can only carry one Kong on its back. The smaller Kong, definitely. So here's another thing: in the Game Boy Advance one, both Donkey and Diddy ride whatever animal you have. So one isn't just sort of floating along behind you. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. It's like Tails always catching up somehow in Sonic, you know? Yeah. Sonic's flying, floating out of nowhere. Despite me doing my best to avoid him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, go away, please. Catch me now. He did. <laughs> there, there was an interesting um, Dorkly video about um, Tails can never die. I've seen that one, actually. Yeah, a while now, but yeah, they put out some awesome stuff. Did they? Only if you're doing multiplayer and you're playing as him. What? Remember, um, oh, which one was it? There was one where you could play as Tails in multiplayer. You could play, you almost, you were like Luigi. Uh, both Sonic 2 and 3, you could do that. Yeah. But in Sonic 3, he actually served a little more of a purpose, because you could carry Sonic. Like Kazooie. Yeah. Only not as helpful. <laughs> yeah, only he was Tails, so. <laughs> yeah. That negates any positive side effects. Croctopus mm. Chase. On guards in this one, too, somewhere. So you climb the mountain. You go through the ice caves and then you end up in the ocean. <laughs> but it's a blue, it's a purplish blue ocean, so it must be cold. That's how you can tell. Wow, those friggin' ghost jellyfish squid guys, man. And they go through the walls. Yeah, and they change directions. <laughs> yes. Faster. They just take their jolly old time. Oh, right, and there's barrels underwater. Okay, is this where on? You just went through the walls yourself. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> Certain walls you can go through, you know, it's special walls. Cloak on. <laughs> I know. Where's where's our maximum armor here? Some of that. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Then then he maximum sink. strength just punches octopus. For... Yes. <laughs> Nano banana technology. Ah. Whoops. Well, <laughs> just buttercup. <laughs> just so creepy. Those little things. Oh, this is where On Guard is, I believe. No, Frog took it. So where's On Guard? He's busy. Don't you worry about it. I know he's in here somewhere. Oh. quite made sense how you could have explosive barrels underwater. <laughs> but I guess Mario could shoot fireballs underwater, so... Yeah. Well, you know, the more you discuss game physics realities, the more oh. cat girls die, whatever, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we, we already discussed the conspiracy that Mario, the reason the Mushroom Kingdom has no resin is because Mario murdered them all. Wasn't there a game, or somebody talked about creating a game where Mario was the villain and you actually played the mushroom people and then this Mario guy came in and tried to kill all of you? 
That would be genius. <laughs> it should be if there's not. And then you could go find this evil, I mean, this other guy, you know, Wario, and he could help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> You guys play that uh, Mario Portal crossover, that Mario <laughs> Zero or whatever it was? I uh, downloaded it, but I haven't actually played it. Is it on it Portal, is. or is it a like a mod for Portal? No, no it's, it's a mod an actual for Super Mario Brothers One. Yeah. yeah. So oh. Super okay. Mario Brothers mod. <laughs> yeah, Mario with a portal gun. It uh. It changes everything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ridiculous, but a lot of fun. And it even has multiplayer. It does. It's it's. I think what four players or something. It's crazy. How do you even do that? I don't know. I think that would get so chaotic with all the different portal. I mean, I think Portal Two co-op is hard enough. You know, uh. keeping track of everyone's portals. Yeah, yeah, that was an interesting challenge. A lot of fun, but man, I wanted to kill my co-op partner. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my brother, so it was okay. We pretty much beat each other up. You know, for an add-on mini game, that portal, the original, you know, it was just an add-on game to the orange box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Still is. Uh, yeah, that that was a heck of a bonus game. Not to mention Team Fortress 2 and all the other games. But... Yeah, still Team... one of the best gaming deals pretty much ever when it came out. <laughs> yeah, I found um, the Xbox version for like 10 bucks somewhere and so picked it up. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's what I did too. It was, I was like, holy crap, this is like six games. Yeah, I mean. So was Team Fortress 2 just like sort of a multiplayer add on? I, it's a standalone game, it's like Portal. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh. And gravity comes into effect magically when you die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No Funny water. that. Yeah, you don't float like a dead fish. <laughs> Glad you didn't say dead monkey. That really sounds depressing. <laughs> the dead monkeys. That that would be my dead Kennedy's cover man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the dead monkey. <laughs> Actually, you know, the monkeys, there you go. <laughs> Actually, would one of them die recently? That is kind of yep, sad. Yep. Yeah. Never mind that. Back to being depressed. <laughs> Strangely enough, his name was Davy Jones. <laughs> oh, wow. The uh, <laughs> subconscious is playing havoc on our conversation. Mm. So back to swimming monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> How quickly everything can derail. No, 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 no. You never seem to move fast enough in these in the water levels. Just a casual swim, you know. Through the maze. <laughs> Yeah, and it has to be a maze. That's what it looks like underwater. I mean, I don't know how much, how much swimming you get to do in Canada. <laughs> well, all depends <laughs> if you can swim. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I don't do much. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just don't fall out of the boat. That's all I say. <laughs> <laughs> I, used, you know, I, I used to it. swim quite a bit in the lakes we have up here, but not so much recently. Lakes are surprisingly dirty. Yes, they are. Yeah. We have a head pond up here. And uh, in the summer when they, uh, it's warm... <laughs> You can get some real good <laughs> swimmers itch or and other problems out of it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. You should put that in the uh, the tourism brochure right there. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> get great swimmers itch. 
it's funny too because I mean it's a couple hundred feet of water so I mean you figure it wouldn't get too warm but now we spend most of our swimming down at Shediac so when the tide goes out it goes out a long way it's, it's, a, it's pretty popular here in Florida hmm I liked my trip when I was down there when my sister-in-law and her husband lived down there. Oh, right. This spot. Yeah, all these lovely guys. What, what are those things exactly? Squids. I think. <laughs> squid? They look like jellyfish, but they look like squid. It's weird. I don't no, know. I guess squid kind of look like that. On my screen, they look like kind of squishy pushpins. <laughs> Okay, here's the one that's completely dark. Hey, when was the last time you saved? Because it gets tricky. Now would be a good time. Just throwing that out there. Good plan. Oh, so you're a <laughs> Yes. Wait, I tried to do the virtual, the official virtual console one, but the graphics were horrible and the gamepad setup was <laughs> completely um, unintuitive and just they had all the buttons in the wrong place. How convenient. I mean, there's only you know, I'm trying to remember back here because I only own this Super Nintendo for this game, basically. Um, isn't there only two buttons? Four. Well, Four. six if you count the shoulder buttons. Okay. Now, has anyone tried to complete this level without the parrot? No, I don't think I ever have. This I, was before the day of achievements, so there was no, <laughs> there's no, there was no incentive. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'm pretty sure I've done it once. I think I've done it a couple times on the Game Boy Advance because the Game Boy Advance one is so bright. Is so bright anyway. Yeah. You don't even need <laughs> no the parrot. Shady. Yeah, you guys are just turning the gamma up. <laughs> parrot, what parrot? <laughs> but I did actually, I did actually complete the this whole level without the parrot. Mostly because I had the level memorized. <laughs> Those guys sound like they're having some kind of digestive problem when you kill them. <laughs> It's those bananas. Yeah, uh, all it. those bananas, water-breathing bananas, man. Here, I can come back here. I want to see what you say when Diddy jumps on you. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> kind of laughs it off. <laughs> like, yeah, try that again. <laughs> hey, when you see Diddy Kong again, would you tell him his grandma was just trying to jump on me? <laughs> I like to set the barrels down on the bonus um, walls because uh, sometimes if I throw them with Donkey Kong, he throws them over the wall and it doesn't work. Yep. I had a Super Nintendo controller where the, that button stuck, so I'd always end up letting it go early. I guess. Oh, Ooh. still have bad, bad uh, flashbacks here. Uh. Oh, a Rhino token! Yay! So is Rar still in business? Kinda. What was the last thing they made? Like that Connect, Wii Connect Sports for Sports? Yeah, Connect Sports. They're they're basically just uh, lackey for Microsoft now. Yeah, it's sad. Actually, Connect Sports was kind of fun. <laughs> Still sad. <laughs> <laughs> they could be doing original things and yeah, because well, they didn't even do that new part, that Perfect Dark remake. They didn't do that either. I don't think so. Yeah. I've got that. I... <laughs> Someday, maybe I'll finish it. 
I have Perfect Dark Zero and I've barely played it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's understandable. I got the collector. I got the collector's edition for about ninety nine cents. I think that was the first that's game I had for the three sixty. Yeah, it was free with my system. They're like, here, have this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a game. I thought you were trying to sell me this system. Yeah. <laughs> no, here, take these games here. Uh, take this. Take a uh, crackdown. Take I got Reach with my or, uh, Halo Three with my system, but I bought it late. <laughs> yeah, I got. Well, yeah, I just bought a newer one not too long ago. I got Fable Three and Halo Reach. Oh, that's pretty good. I got uh, Bioshock with my new recent one. Let me guess, how many how many Red Ring of Deaths did you have? <laughs> no, I had uh, two. <laughs> I had four. Oh, wow. Man, how many did I have? I want to say three. I had a pre-Red Ring of Death, I think. Freezing? Freezing, odd glitches. Yeah, so that's I, pretty close to it. I, <laughs> My box turned red before I got it home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the strange thing is, it didn't matter. You know, it wasn't didn't have to be a really in, intense game. It could be. Well, I used to play one versus one hundred. Remember when they had that on the oh, Xbox? Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. I used to play that a lot because <laughs> I was pretty good at it, and uh, that killed it. Really? <laughs> yep. Three days. Wow. It took three days to break that Xbox. That's awesome. Yeah, and then of course I went on vacation for three weeks, and plus the shipping and everything. It was like six weeks before I had a working Xbox again. By which yeah, time the one versus one one hundred season was over. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. they don't even do that at all anymore, do they? No, it was canceled. <laughs> oh well. And now you know why. Well, it was Xbox. killing Xboxes. <laughs> killing Xboxes. Well, that now I'm awake. <laughs> Guitar Hero 3, uh, and Halo itself, yeah. That's what killed my Xbox. I hope you at least got some, some time in with Alan Wake. That game was awesome. Oh, yeah. I had finished it. I was doing the DLC. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got through the signal. I didn't do the second DLC yet. That's the one I was doing was the second one. It's uh, it pretty gets, tough. It gets even weirder. Yeah. No doubt, the signal was bizarre. It gets about ten times worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's some really... Whew. They 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 set it up to be tough, and they meant it. <laughs> but Alan Wake, I'm going to replay it again, because uh, it's one of those games that should be replayed, I think. Now that I probably know where to go and barely remember a few things... Um, I need to get it on the PC so I can play it in stunning HD fancy Yeah, I was graphics. just going to mention that. I got the PC port when they had it on sale when it first came out, like $25. It's awesome. Like, they did, they made some really cool changes to it. You know, made the lighting all lightinger. <laughs> you can see further, it's all sharper and stuff. You can see the dudes in the in the distance a little bit further. So nice, oh, that's cool. That is one creepy game. It is, and they also they have an option to completely take away the heads up display, which makes it ten times more creepy because you can't oh. see your ammo, you can't see your health. You have to rely. On, you don't like, know how much ring. battery you got left in the flashlight. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, oh, like, nice. it flickers for no reason. You're like, oh crap, am I running out? What's going on? You know, it's. It's really intense without the HUD. <laughs> yeah, that was the one thing I remembered about that game is, is you know, like, head towards the light, and then all of a sudden there's no light. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> head towards the burst. light. Okay, I'm in the light. Light's gone now. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of generators. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to start them on the A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, there's some great games. That's to me, is probably one of the creepiest games I've ever played. Yeah, uh, that just oozes atmosphere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Has anyone played Amnesia? No. Yeah. If you want to talk about genuinely, like, crapping myself kind of game, that would be the game. For yeah. me, at least. That's the only one that's gotten me. I, like, I think if I'm I ever going to play gonna, this, <laughs> if, if I'm ever going to play that game, I'm going to have to fire up a live stream so I actually have people, you know, to be talking to <laughs> to be cowering in fear with you yes. uh. fear had it the, the original game fear had its moments too yeah fear. that one did they've downplayed it so much in the subsequent games too it's pretty disappointing 
Yeah, I, the problem I found with it is they used very hard pointed tr triggers to trigger some of that stuff. Yeah. And you could bypass it accidentally. Totally. Or, well, fairly easy in some of it. And um, then all of a sudden you play it again and all, it, you, know, you go through maybe a couple of plays. Then the third or fourth play, you tr hit the trigger point. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what? <laughs> yeah, go around the right corner, step into the right little area, and all of a sudden yeah. there's a little girl behind you freaking you out. <laughs> yep, then the walls use blood. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I think we have to stop here because I'm going to have to reset the game because I got past the checkpoint without Winky, and this game and this level is really hard to do without Winky. Uh oh. So we're, we're already an hour in. So <laughs> that'll, that'll make a good episode and won't keep anyone up too late. Yes. Yeah, it's always good to keep the episodes under an hour because you know, we, we, we only have short attention spans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm sure the viewers have even shorter ones. Oh, shiny. <laughs> so that will do it for this week and we will hopefully be back next week um, if I can get Dustin we might be able to broadcast it live again but I think he's going to have to be my live broadcaster because he has more bandwidth than I do but until then we will see you next week in the past see you now bye, bye.